courier service Endel has launched a challenge to Australia Post's stranglehold over small business with its inaugural advertising campaign. The campaign, Why Post When You Can Sendle, calls on Aussie SMEs to reconsider their options in parcel delivery and opt for Sendle's carbon-neutral, door-to-door delivery service over Australia's outdated postal network. Campaign is a first for the three-year-old delivery startup, which launched in November 2014 and has grown rapidly to become a legitimate alternative to the incumbent, Australia Post. It features the phrase, Post Without the Office, which Sendle successfully trademarked in 2017 after Australia Post took them to court. Produced in collaboration with the Glue Society, the campaign stars Australian actor John Batchelor, who plays as a small business owner dealing with the everyday struggles of running an online retail company, such as wasting time lining up at the post office, juggling multiple orders, and making sense of Australia Post's complex pricing schemes. The business owner's comical sock puppet, Wendell, puts him at ease by explaining how Sendel can help alleviate these challenges through its door-to-door -door delivery, streamlined orders, and low, national flat rates up to 70% cheaper than standard parcel post rates, guaranteed. Craig Davis, co-founder and CMO of Sendel, said, Sendel has built a strong reputation as the alternative to Australia Post, mainly by focusing on satisfying the needs of small business with great products, pricing and service, and by gathering momentum through word of mouth. This campaign is our very first and represents how far we've come in just over three years. It is also the first time small businesses have been presented with a cheaper and more convenient alternative to Australia Post's 200-year-old functional monopoly. We have no doubt this campaign will support us in championing choice in the market for Aussie small businesses. Hopefully, it will also empower more small businesses to choose a delivery partner that will help them compete in a rapidly changing e-commerce ecosystem, Jonathan Nebone, co-founder of the Glue Society, said, Sendel is a humble but ambitious brand aiming to lend a helping hand to the little guys of the e-commerce space, and we enjoy directing a campaign that speaks to these qualities. Much like Sendel, we enjoy giving a voice to worthy brands hoping to make a difference, and we look forward to lending a sock puppeted hand to the Australian small business community. The campaign has begun rolling out across digital, social, and Sendel owned channels. Credits, Brand, Sendel Direction, The Glue Society Editing and Post Production, Glue Society Studios Starring, John Batchelor and Wendell Sign in with LinkedIn Australia Post Sendel B. We'd love to say that comes with a flute of moe, but it doesn't. The second ever major survey of Australia's professional online community managers has revealed a maturing industry increasingly dominated by women, rapidly embracing AI and automation, and managing significant issues around work-life balance and online toxicity. The 2018 Australian Community Manager Survey, which followed the inaugural 2015 survey, found the number of community managers in senior group Ms. Mediacom has been named Agency Network of the Year at the Festival of Media Global Awards 2018. The agency took the crown after winning 19 awards on the night. At the ceremony on Monday the 14th of May, Mediacom won 8 gold, 8 silver and 3 bronze trophies, as well as the coveted agency network of the male grooming brand Axe, owned by Unilever, has responded to recent criticism that its You Gold ads feature a song with the lyrics, Suck My Balls. In an attempt to quash rumors, Axe tapped the producer of the song who worked on the ad, Dieterich Van Middelkoop, to release his own clip jokingly clarifying the lyrics. It seems the design team at Gap might need to brush up on their geography, after the clothing retailer causing social media outrage for selling t-shirts emblazoned with a map of China that left out territories claimed by the country. A number of angry people took to Chinese social media to slam Gap after photos, another day, another scandal over at WPP's head office. It's much like that time Elf got cockroaches at the cafe.
B. Need a little girl power in your life today without having to listen to a god-awful Spice Girls album. Here's this, the last B. Spotify nails it with two glorious new ads. We'd almost say their music to our ears if that wasn't really naff. This Cultex campaign has the conspiracists in overdrive, although it doesn't feature Harold Holt speaking Mandarin. Does the mere whiff of international politics send your office into furious, raging debate? B. If you think B. Carlton. Often enticed in by provocative headlines only for the article not to live up to the promise. B. Branding design agency Principles has announced the appointment of Pip Ireland as its Melbourne creative director. Ireland, who has been freelancing with the agency for the past six months, has previously held roles at Design Works in New Zealand and Melbourne as well as Moon Communications in Sydney. Principal's executive creative director Simon Wright said, We've, GDPR is on everybody's lips at the moment, isn't it? Except our editor, who has a seriously pustulous cold sore instead. New guidelines tackle gender portrayals in ads. Yet, no protection for little terriers given bad Glaswegian accents. If six-second video isn't an indictment on all our concentration spans then. Sorry, what were we talking about? No need to have saved a life or donated an organ to appear in B. Paul Murphy joins Cummins, while his colleague to the rear has brilliantly teamed that lamp. They say laughter is the best medicine, but watching this witty bank ad has done little for our middle ear infection. Global media and technology company Peer Profile has partnered with RDA Research to enable further audience segmentation across its audience profiles. RDA Research's GeoTribes is a unique classification system that rivals traditional geodemographic approaches by grouping consumers into 15 tribes based on their life stage and socioeconomic status. Clients are then able to better understand consumer big news out of the West today that doesn't have anything to do with Eagles midfielder Luke Shuey's groin. Common presentation mistakes also include getting the day wrong, going to the wrong building. News Corp sends bakers of freons, muffins, and croissants into overdrive to meet media buyer demand in Sydney with this. Southern Cross Osario's digital innovation chief has pulled possibly the ultimate in innovation, he's quit. The house sounds slightly German to us, although that's not to suggest it specialize in sausages or invading Poland. If you think B, rest assured your data is completely safe with B. Interoffice sex and flagellation shock omissions from a new study into what Aussie workers want from their employers. Do you only read B? If its marketing is anything to go by, B. If you're like us and thought Big W actually shut down 10 years ago, then prove yourself the right fool with this new ad. Shane Warne set to join Fox Sports commentary team. Although he's reportedly not to smoke or host lingerie parties. HT. There's a clean out at the top of Priya management today. So forgive us if this has a whiff of Pino clean about it. Reading these overnight TV numbers, you can almost hear the key turning in the Channel 10 boardroom liquor cabinet. Of all the universities be. Judging by Optus constantly changing agency roster it appears quick to enforce its one strike. 
advertising conglomerate WPPAUNZ has launched an innovative new stakeholder and community engagement practice called The Bond. Led by newly appointed National Director and former Newgate Australia advisor Gail Morgan, pictured above, The Bond. In its fourth season, Shark Tank continues its format of having budding business owners and entrepreneurs pitch their ideas to the Sharks, who have invested $21 million of their own money. Chris Nolan announces he's quitting. A new poll has found a resounding 70% of Aussies oppose cuts to the ABC despite only 7% actually bothering to watch. Leading comparison service CompareTheMarket.com.au has launched its latest TVC nationwide to announce its Dream Safari holiday competition. The TVC, Safari, which sees the meerkats back in their ancestral home, selflessly, test driving the amazing safari trip that is up for grabs for one lucky winner. Narrowly avoiding an elephant trampling their picnic, and inquisitive, we'd like to say be. This nutty new Doritos spot ticks all of B. Here's 5 tips for anyone thinking of starting their own agency. Although, good personal hygiene could have been a 6. One need only see the B. Are you being overwhelmed by your agency's problems? Well, put down that gin bottle and find complete clarity here. The Stefanovichs aside, when it comes to misbehaving staff then Channel 7 is undoubtedly the network to turn. Bill Lowry set to spend more time with his pigeons and annoying Mrs. Lowry after calling time on his 178-year career. David Beckham's acting ability may be dubious at best, yet it's certainly no impediment to a slew of ad appearances. An ill wind has befallen the press council at present. B. Before they sell out, grab some last-minute tickets here. To celebrate this fabulous event, we've B. Well, most people, really, the locks busted. This interview was filmed in the B. In case you've missed our plethora of articles over the last few months, we're holding an event called Changing the Ratio very, very soon. It'll be a day to drive diversity and inclusion in our industry, and will include a stellar lineup of speakers. Said speakers include Lisa Wilkinson and Deng Thiak ADUT, by the way. Attendees will walk. In arguably one of the tougher gigs to make interesting, BMFs snared the Department of Jobs. Need a new bar fridge or boardroom table? Well, Gumtree's the place to be after Anna and the ASB unveil merger plans. How could Seven willfully erase Olivia's career watermark, Xanadu, and not expect Savage viewer backlash B? First Cummins So, yes, this has a certain Phil Collins in the air tonight feel. M. Facebook reveals plans to launch a cryptocurrency that hopefully will be called the Crypto Burger the Zucker Piso. Jody Koning named Ad Shell's head of marketing, whose remit includes marketing. Clemenger now reportedly spending over $1,000 a year on Silvo polish such as its extensive trophy. Jamila Rizvi joins Nine's future women team. Although suggestions she arrived on a stallion proven more B. Aussie video tech startup Shootsna has helped clients celebrate their mums to surprise video testimonies. The Sydney-based company worked with their clients to help them send special messages to their mums on Mother's Day. The videos were planned weeks in advance and designed to celebrate mothers who are thriving in the workplace. Content strategist Scott Data Driven Marketing Agency Columbus, a Merkel company, has announced a promotion of Mitchell McBeath to National Managing Director. 
McBeath, pictured above, right, has been with Columbus for five years, most recently as general manager of NSW in Queensland. Joining in 2013, McBeath has held several leadership roles across the Victoria, NSW and Western Australia markets. In this guest post, Jordan Cullis, pictured below, country manager for the South Pacific at Milestone Systems, explains how CCTV cameras, intelligent billboards and mobile tracking all intersect to offer much smarter retail marketing. It's no secret that physical retail stores have been struggling for some time. Clothing brands such as Gap and Banana Republic, and Suegis Network Dan, held its annual volunteer initiative on Friday, with staff volunteering their time to support more than 40 different charity organizations in Australia and New Zealand. Last year, 6,646 Dan staff across the Asia-Pacific participated in One Day for Change, giving over 33,000 hours of their time to local communities. The Today's Winner of B CRM, Marketing, Sales, and Customer Service Platform HubSpot has announced the general availability of Service Hub, the latest product line in the company's growth platform. Service Hub is an all-in-one customer service system that changes the way growing businesses approach and deliver customer support. Powered by HubSpot's free CRM, Service Hub provides companies with a gripped by Monday-itis. Career in a failing heap. Why not take it out on work colleagues? Or, better still, read this. Pedestrian. TV has teamed up with Tourism NT to get young Aussies exploring their own backyard by packing their own city kid bags and heading to the state. The result is a wild three-part video series appropriately titled All the Gear and No Idea. The mockumentary-style series chronicles Pedestrian. TV's very own Lucinda Price, Sydney Funny Girl Tanya, 7 West Media Y is on the lookout for a new CEO. However, B. WPP-owned public relations firm PPR has been appointed by the International Air Transport Association IATA, to provide PR support for the 74th IATA Annual General Meeting AGM, and World Air Transport Summit in Sydney next month. PPR will assist the IATA corporate communications team, providing in-market intelligence and insights along with media relations support for in this guest post, Rakuten Marketing's JJ Eastwood, pictured below, explains why advertisers in the Asia-Pacific region need to be prepared for when the GDPR hits the industry later this month. The European General Data Protection Regulation GDPR, is the legal framework coming into effect on May 25 and will serve as a means of SCA will no longer be broadcasting the cricket. Not content with destroying the disposable razor business, those naughty scamps at ISIS are now ruining brand safety. Unfortunately for all those present, it was all the Bundaberg rum you could drink at Adam Ballesty's leaving bash. Ricky Ponting to be the face of Seven's cricket commentary team amid reports Ian Chappelle will just turn up anyway. Be fair, be. Think the old paywall versus advertising debate was dead and buried? B. Arguably the only time you want to be in the chrysanthemums or slippers business. It appears actual audience numbers come as no impediment to a contract renewal over at 10 at the moment. Today, Instagram has officially launched the emoji slider sticker, a fun new way to interact with your friends on Instagram. The emoji slider lets you ask more nuanced questions when you want to find out how your friends feel about something, like how hot an artist's new single is or how hot they like their food. Bye. Why have a colleague hypnotize you into loving Facebook when, instead, you could just cluck your way through this read? One need only CB.
need a podcast to rejuvenate the epidermis and hide unwanted crow's feet. This clinic one probably won't be it. MKTG staff repeatedly explained the offside rule after signing a new deal with Football Federation Australia. These results appear to prove that mags are back from the dead, but not in any sort of zombie apocalypse kind of way. Does your office diversity not get much past Asahi in the fridge?